Hello, my name is Rainer Wirt. I'm Associate Professor for Internal Medicine and Geriatrics at the Institute for Biomedicine of Aging at the University Erlangen-Nürnberg in Germany. However, my main profession is to treat acutely sick older patients as a hospital geriatrician. Within the next few minutes, I will talk and give you a brief overview on the topic nutrition and dementia. Dementia is a frequent finding in older persons, but it's not normal aging. It's a malignant and devastating disease. It's the new epidemic of our modern society that will fundamentally change the medical landscape. It was estimated that 35 million people lived with dementia worldwide in 2010, with numbers expected to almost double every 20 years. The duration of the disease varies between five and nine years, but may be much longer in some patients. And during this time, we have to treat these patients and care for them to give them autonomy, health and quality of life as far as possible. Dementia patients are at high risk for malnutrition. That is why nutritional support is an important component of medical treatment of dementia. The nutritional state of dementia patients starts changing very early during the disease, sometimes even before the onset of the disease. Unintentional weight loss is a frequent finding in early and incident dementia in more than 50% of the patients. Sometimes we see patients that have lost more than 20 kilos of body weight prior to dementia diagnosis. And this weight loss is associated with additional morbidity and an accelerated progress of the disease and should be avoided. And several studies have shown that this is possible by adequate nutritional support in terms of adequate care, caloric enrichment of meals and the use of oral nutritional supplements. Latest, du latest during the advanced stages of the disease, malnutrition is a constant issue in nearly every dementia patient that may drive caregivers to despair. A dementia patient who won't eat a thing or who coughs with every swallow is associated with a very high caregiver burden. In this desperate situation, tube feeding is frequently initiated. But this is a futile intervention for most patients that won't change the course of the disease, but is associated with a high burden for the patient and prevents some patients from being cared for in a human way. To enhance adequate nutritional support in dementia patients, Aspen has launched an evidence-based guideline about nutrition in dementia that will soon be published. To summarize my talk with one sentence, Nutritional support in dementia patients should start as early as weight loss occurs, but should norm normally be restricted to non-invasive measures. Thanks for listening.